everybody, this is Graham, son is The Collector 75, welcome to Loft Hall number 7. Uh, I really did not think I'd be doing one again this soon, but um, I got an idea for a Loft Hall um, of uh, a couple of people actually. Uh, someone asked me to do a requested video and so I thought I wanted to do that. I also needed to do uh, go to my mum and dad's to get some comics because uh, TF Nation is coming up. And there were some comics that I wanted to get, so that was another reason. And then my son, um, he's, we went away to Butlins the other day, and he got really into sort of like playing um, Space Invaders on some arcade game. So I thought, you know what, um, I've got my old Nintendo entertainment system somewhere up in my locker, like this one. Um, and you know what, I thought I'm going to dig it out, try and get an old portable telly, because I don't know if it'll work with a new telly these days, I don't know. Probably have to get some weird adapter if it is going to work. And um, I'm going to start trying to get into Super Mario Brothers. Um, though I've got to be careful, like my wife said, it's a slippery slope. One minute they're playing this, then that's all they want to play. Um, but, you know, so that is... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I've been waiting four and a half years, because he's four and a half years old now. And I love doing stuff like that, and he's so much fun now. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, hopefully it'll work. This is my original from 1990-ish, somewhere around then. Um, I mean, if you look at the box, the box is actually pretty good. Um, but I did pepper it there with some, I don't know if they're going to up to her, um, with a pellet gun um, and um, elastic band and paper clips. That was the weapon of choice back when I was at school. Uh, uh, right, so anyway, so let's get on with uh, my main loft haul. Um, we're going to start down here with some more comics, obviously, like I said, I just got some more comics. So I'm going to pick up my camera, and without it shaking too much, and you can see my front room here. It's a bit of a mess, unfortunately. Uh, so I've got my Transformers Universe, try and get that out of the light. Um, I'm going to get that signed, just because um, Soundwave SG-1 gave me an idea for that. And then hopefully you're gonna it's gonna pick some of these out. Probably not. Um, but let's just have a look see if we've got G.I. Joe. We've got an original one. This one came out when Generation 2 first came out. This was a reissue of the original G.I. Joe versus Transformers. Then we've got some Dreamwave just stuff, I think a bit of IDW. Um, what else? Um, then we've got some Death's Head. Um, Death's Head 2, incomplete Death's Head, and then Dragon's Claws. I need to get them signed. Battle Tide, this is all sort of like Death Wreck. And then we go for the like the Dreamwave stuff. We've got the original stuff. Um, I remember this comic, where is it? I just had it, Jim. It's sort of disappeared now. Oh no, that's the uh, More Than Meets the Eye. Uh, oh yeah, we've got the uh, weird movie stuff. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, we've got Transformers Armada. There's some good stuff in Armada. This one, this is a great sword. Line. If anyone's into their stuff, this was quite a good one. Worlds Collide. Um, I did like that story. We should, they should do more of that sort of stuff. Uh, so anyway, so we've got more energy on, and then we've got some of the exclusive covers for the original stuff by Dreamwave. Um, some of them cost me a lot. How much was this one? Was that the original one? No, oh, somewhere. Uh, I think it was this one. So this is the weird incentive cover. I think it was that one. Um, I think my girlfriend at the time. It cost her 65 quid. Probably worth about two quid now, something like that. I'll stick that back in there, that'd be all right. Um, and then we've got mostly, uh, we've got some of the start off IDW stuff, I think. Yeah, oh no, still Dreamwave. There we go, it's still Dreamwave. War Within, some of that was pretty cool. And then we start off with some, oh no, we've got the Beast Wars IDW stuff, and I do like that incentive cover. That was quite a cool one, I did like that. Hearts of Steel, and then we've got Transformers timelines and stuff. Um, I'm hoping that. I've got the rest of my IDW comics up in the loft here because I want to do. Move that over there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I wanted to get some stuff signed out there, like Last Stand of the Wreckers. I did buy that. Um, right, all right. So let's move on to the first box. I've got two boxes of box stuff and then a loose box of loose Transformers. Uh, right, so the first things, I found my instructions for um, movie blackout and movie leader class Jetfire. I, I, just, I have an inkling where they might be, and they were there, thank God. Still can't find my mini autobots. Um, I'm sure they will turn up. I've probably got them out and then put them back in a box, thinking, oh, I'll put them back in there and then move them and then forget all about them. Hopefully I haven't sold that one. Yeah. Anyway, right, so this is uh, someone requested. They've requested a view of the G1 reflector. And but I have this. This is a this is the, my original reflector. is a proper kosher one, um, but it does come in a custom 
sort of like box because the original one the box was just grey and there was nothing on it but it comes with that custom I'm trying to get out the light there the custom uh, bio and everything um, it's quite good the box just how doesn't have that nice shine to it it feels like a KO box um, but it's just custom um, but that's pretty cool I do like that box uh, right then we're going to go for this box this is my box that I left forgot all about at my mum and dad's a lot from my last haul which was generation two so we're going to have some more great packaging there we go look we got who's this um oh, turbo fire didn't realize how the box is um and then we got um scram I'm trying to make sure the light you can see them um i think i had the american boxes for these ones actually um that's koozie uh rapido oh god do you remember that program was it channel four oh yeah back in the mornings. that was jesus um, then we've got, oh look at this one, still on the card, we've got Skyjack, the European version, trying to get it in the light there. Um, I never took them off the card, so and I'm not likely to now. Just stay open. And then we've got, um, we've got, oh my god, it does say he's a Decepticon hooligan, but he's the um, weird recolor version. And this one is Space Case. Space Case? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, I did sort of lose track of those. Oh, look at this. I didn't realize I had the American version of this. This is the American Rotor Force Power Dive. I didn't realize. See, you forget, I forget I have all this stuff. He's a bit bent up, man. That's not good, is it? I think he's actually been real resealed on a card, actually. Um, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. I really wanted the Black Rotors version. I think it was Black Rotors for the Decepticon ones. Um, and then I've got this. This is really cool. Um, I don't know if it's still got batteries in. But I've got this. This is a little um, LCD handheld Transformers Generation 2 game. Um, probably cost me a tenner off eBay about 15 years ago. Um, but it's pretty cool. I played it. It's actually really addictive. I like it. Oh, dear. Bloody hell. Ain't things come a long way since that, eh? Uh, right, what else have we got here? We've got Tracon Calcar. I reviewed these a long time ago, but I'm going to review them again at some point. I'll put them down there. Oh, this is the guy I really wanted to get out. This is Clench. Does it say Clench on there? It does say somewhere. Oh, well, Colossus. Don't know if you can read down there. Colossus. I like Colossus. He is pretty damn cool. Probably cost me about 15 quid. Maybe a tenner. Back in the day. And then we've got another good one. If I can get him out. He seems to be a bit jammed in. There we go. Who's this? Uh, we've got Fear Swoop. Oh, that's a good name, isn't it? Fear Swoop. He's another track on. Um, I love some of the weird names. That was quite a cool little segment, the track-ons. And then we've got my collector's edition, Optimus Prime. Um, pretty cool. Never taken that out of the box, don't think, even though I put some of the stickers on. So maybe I have. But, uh, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's all the American writing and everything. It's not American writing. It's all in English. That's better, isn't it? Um, but none of the weird European languages, which is always good and looks pretty damn cool. Um, right, so we're going to put that down there. And then we've got this pretty cool one. This is Laser Rod Optimus Prime. Uh, this is the European version. Now, I remember seeing this in the... Where did I see this? This is in Hamleys in London. And I thought, oh my God, that looks absolutely terrible. Look, it's got Optimus Prime written all across that. How's he supposed to be a robot in disguise? Um and I hated it, never bought it, and then I managed to buy this one second hand, even though it was mint in the box and everything. And um, it's a fantastic figure, absolutely brilliant. Right, so that was it for the first box. Right, so here we move on with box number two. And now, these are some figures that don't get a lot of love, if I'm honest. I mean, there's, and there's some pretty damn cool figures. These are the Robot Masters. Now, Robot Masters were a Japanese sort of classics line. Only they just went all out and gave lots of figures all new moulds. There was a lot of reused reuse moulds in there as well, but some of them had some great new moulds for it, and it was pretty damn cool, one of them being brilliant. Um, but we'll come to that in a moment. Now, most of them, um, these are in bags, unfortunately, so if the light does glint off it. We have Double Face. Now, this is a reused laser cycle from G2, but he's in the colours of, what's his name, from Sideways, from Armada. But that's pretty cool. I like it when they do things like that. And then we got the other one, which was Road Rocket. Same name as the Generation 2, but now in a real nice, cool yellow colour. Um, you know what else we've got in here? We have got a couple of... Who are they? 
We've got Delta Seeker versus X Gunner. Um, these were a couple of um, reuses of the Generation 2 Cyberjets. Pretty cool, I like them. Um, I did like some of these. Uh, who else we got here? We've got Wrecker Hook. We've all seen Wrecker Hook a thousand times. There's bloody a thousand knockoffs of him going around. We've got Wing Stun. He's alright. Uh, reuse of the Machine Wars mold there. And then we got Mirage. Um, exactly the same as the Machine Wars, pretty much. Um, what else is this? We have um, Air Hunter, a reuse of the Megatron mold. I can't think of his name now. Machine Wars. Um, and then we've got this guy, Psycho Orb. Lovely name, um, but it's all in gold plastic by the looks of it. I may be wrong there. Might just be a bit of gold paint. I think it was oh, Armadillo out of Beast Wars. Bit of a weird one. Uh, and then we've got someone else, Bound Rogue. Um, another Beast Wars figure there, I can't remember his name. Um, and then we go to a couple of nice cool one here. This was Smoke Sniper, a reuse of the Generation 2, um, whatever his name was, Bloody Smoke, smoke Jumper or whatever. Um, they did come out as two separate figures, these ones. Um, I can't remember, I've got the rest of them somewhere. Here he is, in a bigger box. Probably the biggest box was the old lot. Which was, he was called Giant Bomb, which is the rest of the uh, little stealth bomber there. Uh, yeah, he was called Giant Bomb. Um, what else have we got in here? Pretty cool. Now, this one, we have Starscream. Now, this was a pretty cool Starscream up until the Universe Classic Starscream came out. It was probably the best one we'd had. And that, unfortunately, we're saying something. It's, it's a bit of a dodgy figure. There. I'm going to review that because I think it's worth it. And then we have this little fella. Now, this was, where was this one? Oh, this is RM10 Convoy. Now, this one had a metallic sort of finish to the figure. I'm going to review this one as well. I think I, I don't have the RM1 because I got this and I may have sold that. can't remember, but... Because I am not, I don't have the RM1. Uh, but I do have RM2. Now, this one was the Beast Megatron. Now, I think this is the one that they did reuse for the 10th anniversary Beast Wars figures, I think. He's about a deluxe size figure and he's pretty cool and he has a great, I don't know if he's going to pick it up, I'm going to review this as well sometime. He's got a great Decepticon insignia right there on his arm. Oh, there he dropped him on the floor. Um, and then we're going to come, I'm going to leave the other cut in there. I've only got, oh this is, yeah I'm going to do this one as well. This is, um, I don't know if they've ever really released this. This is pretty cool. This is the um, Optimus Primal. How pretty is that? It's called Beast Convoy. Well, yeah, it's called Beast Convoy. Now I don't think we've ever got that over here. I don't know. Uh, and then we've got another one. This is R Blade. Looks like Jetfire. Pretty cool. And then we're going to come to a couple of the cool ones. Now, this was. They're like deluxe sized. What's his name? Um, Star. Oh, bloody. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? I've forgotten his bloody name. Victory Saber. So he's Victory. We've got Victory Leo and Star Saber. Bloody hell, what's man? Um, yeah, so they're deluxe sized. And they're brilliant because they're little. And they're so playable. You can play around with them for ages. And I've got the black e-hobby versions as well, but I've left them at my mum and dad's, so I forgot all about them. Because I had them loose. Uh, <coughs> and then probably one of the best ones of the whole lot. I'm going to get this one out of the bag. I'm going to review this again. This is probably the best one. This is Reverse Convoy. This is a re-moulded um, Combat Hero Megatron. Um, but now he's like a double person. He is Optimus Prime and Megatron in the same body. And how cool is that? We oh, I think what he's called. Uh, Rebirth Megatron and Reverse Convoy. How smart is that? So we have um, we got Optimus Prime at the front there. You can see him with his weird-looking Optimus Prime -y Megatron -y head. And then you turn it around on the back here. We got the card there for Re Rebirth Megatron. Try and get that out of the light. And that is smart. The only time they've ever released this figure, and brilliant. I love this figure. This is going to get a review very, very soon because I love it. Um, yeah, they've never reissued it. They never used him as any other part. You could get a couple of knockoffs, I think. Um, but brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right, I've got to try and get these back in the box. Right, so I managed to get them back in the box. That was a bloody nightmare. Uh, right, so we're going to come to the last box, which is a loose box. Now, I did see someone's video on TF Nation about what they actually want to buy. I think it was Thews. Um, it could have been someone else's. 
Um, but he was after some pretenders. Or I know a few was after some pretenders. Maybe it was someone else that actually mentioned them before him, though. So I thought to myself, what better than actually to get uh, my box of pretenders? Now, actually, there is some more GT figures here before I forgot, I forgot to put them in here. These are my um, Predators. Um, I want to review them again because I haven't reviewed them for a very long time. Um, they were the loose ones. And then we got the big dude, which was whatever his name was, Skyquake, which was pretty cool. With some nice gold plastic on there, which it hasn't broke as yet. Um, and I hope it never does. And then we've got the t some Turbo Masters somewhere. I've got two of them. Two more. There we go. So we've got two more, a couple of four Turbo Masters there in varying degrees of completeness. Most of them all complete, they just don't have. Um, they just don't have. Can't think of the bloody right word. They don't have. I don't actually think he's got the right engine with him. Um, I think I've used one of the red ones instead. Yeah, they don't have all the missiles. But there we go. Right, so pretenders, we have crossblades, complete. I managed to get a complete version of him. Um, pop him up there. Then we've got this guy with some nice gold plastic. This is Skyhammer, I think. I better put him up here. Don't even drop him on the floor. Uh, we've got a G1 Repugnus. Don't have to review them again. Um, we've got classic Star Screen. Um, what else we got? Oh, we've got a complete Carnivac. I think I took ages to complete this fella. Um, I was missing only the. Um, I'm sure he's complete. Yeah, I was missing his shoulder pads. Um, let's get him out. For some reason, he's all in bits. Oh, that's why I do put the um, things inside him for some reason. No idea why. Yeah, but he's complete. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can put the um, shoulder pads inside and the figure himself. So that's always handy. Yeah, so I've got complete kind of his weapons in there. So that was handy. It took ages to complete him. Finally got that bloody shoulder pad off for you, eh? I think I had to buy two of the same with him. Um, we've got Finback. Um, we've got Sky High. I think it's Sky High. I can't remember now. I did have the box for some of these, but I sold all the boxes to make some money. Um, because I really thought I don't really need the boxes, really. Just the figures are important to me. Um, we've got... Whatever your name is. I can't bloody remember his name now. I didn't know it. Um, Carnivac, Catilla. Ah, bloody hell. Him. Right now. I don't know. I've forgotten now. This is um, Chainclaw. Got him. These are all complete, by the way. There's only one or two that ain't complete. We've got a Bludgeon that's complete. It took me ages to complete him. And then I painted him up. Don't ask me why I've done that. We've got a Vroom. Complete. It took me ages to get him complete. Um, actually, no, Roadblock. Where's Roadblock? I thought I had Roadblock. Oh, there he is. No, Roadblock. As far as I remember, I'm still missing the little robots in a gun. And he is a bit yellow, but he's still pretty damn cool. Uh, who else we've got here? We've got Road Grabber. He's a good one. I like Road Grabber. Um, we've got Wave Rider. Uh, who else? Oh, I've loved Bomb Burst. Bomb Burst is cool. Um... <laughs> But not as cool as Iguanas. Iguanas is a special kind of coolness. Yeah. Um, yeah over here. Oh my god, this is another one I don't have complete. I need his shoulder pads, if anyone can help me out. I think he's Groundbreaker. I've got his helmet and his belt, but I just need those bloody shoulder pads. He might be missing a gun as well. Um, but that was the only one. I bought those off a lot with the American sort of ones because we only got the first wave of those pretenders over here. Second wave we didn't get at all. Like, you know, um, Iguana, something like that. Uh, and I've got my only Pretender Monsters. I need the Pretender Monsters. I need all of them. Um, but they're like £60 each when you do see them. And sometimes they're not all complete. And the, um, the shells degrade as well. Like, they go really sticky and horrible. Weird, I don't know why. It's probably obviously what they're made out of. Um, we've got Longtooth. I believe he's complete. We've got Cloudburst. Then we've got Battle Cat, commonly known as Catilla. He's pretty cool. Oh dear. And then we've got one of my favourites. This is Bugly. Bugly is fantastic. I love Bugly. The shell is brilliant. I don't care. Some people hate the bloody pretenders, but I love them, especially these ones. Brilliant, they were. Um, who else we got? Well, maybe not this one. This is Grimlock. So, I don't know. Uh, then we've got the really cool, if slightly crap, Thunderwing. 
Um, I mean, it's crap in places. I mean, it looks pretty tall and it's brilliant in the comic, but the toy was a bit dodge, which was a shame. Um, we've got this one. He's really cool. I love Summer Order. Um, coming to the end now, so don't worry. Um, yes, we have Bumblebee. Probably the best one, actually, out of those. Um, but they couldn't really go wrong with them, could they? Uh, and then we've got some more cool ones. This is Stranglehold and Octopunch. Um, who else have we got? The old bloody hell, Jazz. Doubleheader. Um, I had this one when I was a kid, actually. This is Pincher. Yeah. Fast and wise, because I never had no water box tenders, so. Or enough water box, so. Um. I don't know, landmine. Uh, right, and then I've got my Ultra Magnus. Now, this is my original from when I was a kid back in 1986, I think. Christmas 1986, was it? Must have been. Um, now, he is broken. He's got the one with the plastic wheels, no windows, very little chrome on him at all. Um, but I loved him and I played with him to death. Um, yeah, and I love the little thing. Uh, so that's why I've kept him, because he was my original one, 1986. I loved getting him. I got him and Scourge. I've still got them somewhere. Right, so this is another one I picked up. This one um, is complete. This one is the rubber wheeled version, uh, with the chrome, with the windows, and not broken. Um, I might review him sometime, though he does have a very yellowed um, door. I might say, let me swap one over. Hi. <coughs> And then I've got this. So I bought this off eBay a while ago. This is the reissue um, diaclone version of Ultra Magnus. They, they reissued. Um, but he was loose, so I got him for quite cheap-ish. I think. I can't remember now. But he's pretty cool. Um, obviously, being a reissue, I think he's slightly different than the original. Um, so you can tell it's a reissue, which is cool. Don't that one, I just like it. Uh, I might reissue them. Uh, reissue. I might review these again sometime because they're pretty damn cool. They're cool these sorts of figures. I love them. Uh, and I think that is it. Oh no, I've got one last little thing. What have we got in here? Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Look at this. I've got this. Oh my god, look at that. That is one of those little sort of squarey games. You see, you can move all the little things over to make the picture and everything like that. God, I remember I got this. When did I get this? I think my, my mum and dad took me to Butlins when. 1987, I don't know, 1986. And it says 1985 on it. It was around in some time because it was before we had that massive storm back in 87. Um, yeah, wow, man, they got me that. For, I still remember that. Still remember it. And then they got me this as well. This is out of a uh, one of those little selection boxes that you used to get. It was a Transformers card game. Unfortunately, I do not have any of the cards anymore. Just the packet. Oh, no, I've got one. Oh, no, I've got a couple of cards. Um, instructions for it. That is it. That's all I've got left. It was a milk, milk cabris, I believe. Uh, selection box. Um, I've got that. So I kept that. I still remember that. I played that so much with my brother. Over the years, uh, can't, it's a shame I lost all the cards. Really. There might be in a box actually. I've got a box full of um, uh, miscellaneous stuff. So you know when I make the cards in there. And then I've got um, a sticker sheet for some reason. I have no idea who that belongs to. Doesn't say on it. Can't really tell off those. Probably a dino bot maybe. And then I, oh yeah, probably my classic Dinobot. I have no idea where I kept it. Probably because I stuck that on my wall or something like that. I just kept it. Uh, so there we go. That was just tucked on the inside. So I'll put them back. Right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75, with Loft Hall number 7. I don't know when I'll be doing number 8. Though lot, I said that every time, so it's probably next week. Um, I'm just really enjoying just moving all my stuff from my mum and dad's uh, here, finally. Um, but I've still got to do out my loft, really, so it's getting proper chocker up there. So I've got to board some more of it out to create some more room to put all this stuff. Um, but at least it's making me do it, which is pretty cool. Uh, yes, so this has been Graham, the Collector 75, with loft hall number 7. I'm going to be doing a TF Nation video soon, because um, there's been a few of those up, and I want to do one, um, you know, for like answering some questions and showing off what. I'm going to get signed and everything like that, so I've got to find them as well. Oh, so that'll be later on in the week, probably towards next weekend. Uh, right. Yes, I'm going to leave this here, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.